friends, this is Diane L. Fisher from dianelfisher.com and wreathmakers.com and today I want to do a little video tutorial on how to, to uh, create a custom Facebook picture that you can use either in your profile or on your page. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is go to xheader.com and download a free header graphics tool. It's absolutely free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for it and I think it's really really a, a neat thing. You get all kinds of graphics and I'm going to show you how we can use a header graphic to to make your Facebook page look really really cool. You could probably also use this for Twitter um, although I haven't done that. So you can go up here to New after you download Xheader, and you load a template from the library. And as you can see, there are numerous. This is just the Action and Adventure section, and over here on the side, there are just tons more. And I'm going to choose the Flower category. And I'm going to pick one that I think serves me well. Let's choose this one. And as you can see, the header graphic is on its side, so we're going to need to put an image on its side within the X header program. So how we do that is we go to another free photo editing tool called Picnic. Picnic doesn't cost anything and you don't even have to sign up to use it. You can just click the then you click the upload a photo button. This is going to open up files on your computer and you need to browse to a spot where you have a picture that you would like to include on your Facebook profile. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to resize this photo. 120 by 90, click OK. The other thing that we're going to want to do is rotate the picture because, as I told you before, the header images are actually on their side. So to place it in the right way so that it works out for our profile picture, we need to turn the picture, whatever direction uh, the you want to use the header image. So I'm going to turn it that direction and click OK. Then I'm going to go up here to create. When we get to create, there are several options. You can add effects, you can add text, stickers, touch up. Uh, frames is what I'm going to use right now. And I'm going to just pick a simple frame with a border. This allows you to resize the size of the border. It also allows you to resize the inner thickness of the border. And you can also change... And I'm going to choose something like this. Click Apply. Then we go up here to Save and Share. Name the picture and save the photo. Now when you save it, be sure to save it someplace that it's easy to find. I usually like to put it right on my desktop because you'll see here in a minute we are not going to need to save this picture. So I will personally delete the picture when I'm done. Click Save. We go back to the X header program and here on the toolbar you see uh, a place where it says to add an image. Click on that. Scroll to 
to the file on your computer that contains your picture. And there's your picture. Now you can drag and drop this by holding your mouse anywhere you would like to put it. And then you can go up here to save as. And we're going to save this as a JPEG file. And of course I'm going to choose superb quality. Again, I'm going to save it in a place that's easy for me to find, and the desktop is what works best for me. Okay, then we need to go back to Picnic. We can close this photo, and we can upload a new photo. We're going to scroll to the place in our computer where we saved the picture on the header. Okay, and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to crop this. So we can choose the free crop tool. And you can position this however it's going to work for you click OK, and there's that part of it, and then you need to go to Rotate. We'll rotate the picture. Click OK on that. Then we're going to go to Create, and we're going to add some text. I'm going to pick something that looks a little bit like a script, and I'm just going to type my name. Okay, then we need to drag this down so that it fits within our text area. I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to choose bold, and I'm going to resize this a little bit more. Then I'm going to click Save and Share, and I am going to save the photo that I've just created. we need to go to Facebook, and when you get to your profile or your page on Facebook, you can hover over the picture and click on Change Picture. We're going to click Upload a Picture, there it is, and there you have it. There is my new Facebook profile picture. I hope this tutorial has been helpful.